All right, I have a really cool problem for you today. So today we're going to look at this particular problem. So here we have the alphabet sigma equaling zero one, and the language right here with subscript y and z, I'm going to define as the set of all strings in sigma star, such that there are an equal number of y's and z's in that string. So if we look at the string, let's say 0, 1, 0, then the number of 0, 1's in this string is the same as the number of 1, 0's in this string. So if y was 0, 1 and z was 1, 0, then this string would be in this language. So what I'm asking here is which of these three languages right here are regular? So I have L01, so the same number of zeros and ones, then the language of the same number of zero ones and one zeros, and finally, the same number of zeros and zero ones. So let's tackle them with this one first, this one second, this one third. So let's think about this one, L0, 01. So this says, we have the same number of zeros as zero ones. So let's think about what the string would look like. Well, let's see. So if I see a zero in the string somewhere, then I can't have two zeros in a row because if I see two zeros, well then that miss must mean that I have seen two zero ones, but I can't because I saw two zeros in a row. So that means anytime I see a zero, I must immediately see a one after it. But if I see another one, that's okay because one one is not included here. So I can have a lot of ones in a row, and then at some point later, I have another zero. And then at that point, I might have another one, etc. So how can we define this? So this is the set of all strings without a zero, zero in it. So we can actually define this really easily to say, this is the set of all strings. So sigma star, take away all strings that have a zero, zero in it. So we can write that in a really simple form as a regular expression. So we can write this as sigma star, zero, zero, sigma star. There are other ways you can write it, but this is uh, fairly intuitive of what it means. Every single string without the ones that have zero, zero in it. Cool. So this one is regular because what does this say? The set difference operation is the same thing as saying the intersection from the first one, intersection, the complement of the second. Well, sigma star is certainly regular. Uh, intersection, if the right-hand side is regular, closure under intersection tells us that the result is regular. Well, let's see, the stuff on the inside is a regular expression, so it's regular. And we have a complement on the outside, which means that it's regular by closure under complement. So therefore, the whole thing is regular. And we can actually get rid of this sigma star intersection thing because any, the sigma star intersection anything is the anything. So we can actually write it like this. And so this one is in fact regular. Cool. So now let's tackle the next one, which is the same number of zero ones and one zeros. So how are we going to uh, tackle this one? So the same number of zero ones and one zeros. Well, what could we do? Well, if we see a zero one somewhere, well, at some point, we're going to have to see another zero. Because if I see a zero one here, I must see a one zero at some point because I have the same number of zero ones and one zeros. So let's think about what this means. Well, if the string starts out with zero one, then there must be a matching one zero somewhere. If the string ends with a different character like this, then up until the last zero, 
the string is completely matched. But then this last one made the number of zero ones go up by one, and the one zeros never went up. So we can actually rephrase this language is the set of all strings that end and start with the same character because it has to alternate between the zero ones and the zeros and the ones here. Now let's handle this language right here, zero one. So this is the set of all strings with the same number of zeros and ones. So what does that look like? Well, let's think about it. So zero one right here. Well, for every zero, at some point, there must be a one. And unfortunately, there isn't a way to be able to say, well, the string has to have a particular form because the zero and the one can actually be anywhere. So let's actually think about this. Well, if you recall the language zero to the n, one to the n, where n is at least zero, I haven't proved it yet on a video yet, but this is not regular. Well, there's actually quite a similarity between these two languages because this says all this, every single string with the same number of zeros and ones. Here is a subset of this, but that doesn't really tell us very much other than it has the same number of zeros and ones. So this language has more strings in it than this one. But how can we relate these two languages together? Well, this one is basically just this language, except we enforce that the zeros come first before the ones. Well, how can we enforce that? Well, we can write it like this. So we take the original language with any string with the same number of zeros and ones, and we intersect it, say, and the zeros have to come first and then the ones. Well, the set of all strings with zeros coming first and then ones after it is zero star one star. And this is equal to zero to the n, one to the n. But this tells us something interesting. This guy is not regular. This one is regular because it's a regular expression. So then now our question is, is this one regular? Well, suppose it is. Suppose that this is actually regular. Well, this whole left side must be regular because we have closure under intersection. But then that would mean that it's equal to a language that is not regular, which is not possible. So we can actually confidently say that this one is not regular. And so we can say that this is, we can say that the second one was regular, we showed that, and that this one is not regular. Okay, so these are some pretty simple languages involving zeros and ones. Here's a really tough question. For which set of two strings, y and z, is the result regular? So clearly some cases have it being not regular and some other cases have it being regular. Is there a particular pattern? Are there some strings for which we can always guarantee it's regular? Or is it just that we have to do an analysis every single time? Turns out to be a really interesting question. So let me know what you think about it.